I have no business with Branded. Well, I have business with you. A package. Fresh from the Master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false, I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. Speak of this to anyone, and there'll be nightshade in your morning gruel. Oh, just, just because you weren't a dame's brooch, don't mean I have to serve you. It's you that should be serving me, Branded. I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind, whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right, quickly now, before the guards notice. <sighs> that is no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink. The very best, specially distilled for my most discerning customers. The guards find that, they'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden, all right. If Etienne likes it, tell him there's more where that came from. For a price, of course. Of course. Oh, and a chine of roast antelope. Fresh. Fish. Hold from the sea of grace this very ball. There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. you say so? <laughs> Times are hard, but this year it'll make them less so. For a while at least. Sorry about the welcome. I meant nothing by it. You wait right here. Tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oriflamme's finest. Just as promised. Perfume, cigars, and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. The question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. What can I do for you? Come back again! Don't think I haven't got my eye on you, Branded. On you go.
That's the day done then. Bertrand was a loyal patron of the Vale, until his appetite exceeded his means. Now he is loyal to me. You have returned. I believe these are yours. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the war gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth, hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. <sighs> Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you, as will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. I'm happy to see my trust in you was not misplaced. The dame will be delighted to hear of your success. I think I might see you tonight. Greetings. You are one of the dames chosen, I see. Me? I am but a nameless weaver of song, who would warm the hearts of the good folk of this town with such humble cloth as the muse might permit me to make. Crystals here are for citizens only. There's none for the likes of you. The day may have given you leave to walk freely about Northridge, but one step outside these walls, and you're just another branded with a target on his back. Flam, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full?
You see it too, then? It's not just me bleary eyes playing tricks on me. If you mean the wave stopped at full crest, then yes, I do. How could I miss the bleeding thing?
know what to do for you. For what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy! Well, don't just stand there gawping! Rescue him! All right, where is he? My! I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go, and see that you kill the beast. Someone whose son's in mortal danger. He didn't seem all that worried. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. But the wolf! It's going to eat me! Not if I can help it.
stay back. I'll deal with this. Sick of toggle. Get him. You know what to do, boy. Sick of toggle. Over here. You are supposed to die! Father will have you whipped for this! Bearers aren't supposed to win, they never win! What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that, we were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this! The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this, before it happens again. my son. You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more, and we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See? I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go, summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. That unlucky wretch would be me. I'm my own master. I'm beholden to no one. And I take orders from no one. Lies! Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? Shut your mouth and listen. Those bearers you killed, they were people. They felt fear and pain, just as you do. And unless you wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember we are not your playthings. Father, he's scaring me. How dare you threaten us? How dare you? Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. I'm wasting my time, but I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do, at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? Victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? 
The dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier, burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed. And toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. Father! Father! Is this your doing? Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home, it's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fared or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less too murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. Yeah. For their help. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our paths may cross again. Till then. Chloe, I let her out of her pen while I did my chores. But she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. I can't promise I'll find her, but... She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big. But she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. That's a lot of field to search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. You work these fields. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's plaything. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have Idol branded underfoot. <laughs> Chloe? <sighs> More brown than white. 
You're not Chloe, are you, girl? Is that... someone napping on the job? I hope they don't mind the interruption. It's time to go home. Chloe? Well, why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloes had pretty hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No. D don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said... Bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. What do you want? Thanks for nothing. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? is missing. The collectors will have my head on a pike. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing, and I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stopped to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarrelling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till a soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood.
What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for a constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes, uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which she <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you? As I told you, the soldier made no secret of his destination. He said the ruins were the perfect place for him to ask his beloved Dousabelle for her hand in marriage. All that clean? You good-for-nothing sluggard! It smells of death here, Togo. Wolves. We can't let them get any closer to the village. have been busy, but the blood is long dry. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? No, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. And by the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. 
tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to Moor for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatien by. message that needed delivering. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her then? My dear Tatia, it is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who is young and far from home, but rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. Expecting any new branded until the noon moon. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? The dame said you would be coming. Your friends are waiting at the chapel atop the hill. Go now.
Not much chance I'd make it through the penitent's gate without someone recognizing me as a deserter. Sid had better have a plan.